Hi, I'm Seth Bark, and you may know me as uh, the guy who gets drunk and plays the piano. Uh, today, by way of a uh, gratuitous plug, uh, and just because it looks so fucking hilarious from where I'm standing, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to score a short film uh, with almost no budget, uh, at least on terms of uh, you as the composer or whatever. Um, back in the day, I, I want to say before I show you this, that it wasn't always like this. Uh, back in the day, before I moved to this place, I actually had a, a studio. I had a dedicated machine for, the, for I, you know, I had a separate computer that was dedicated solely to uh, audio production. And uh, I had a great setup and I had all my equipment and everything. And uh, I did some really good stuff. Some of it got played on the radio uh, even. Um, now, no more. Since I moved... This is what I'm dealing with. This and an hour deadline. I have one hour to get this done, which don't tell anyone that I let it go till the last hour. Okay, here we go. Good fucking Lord. You want to talk about Gorilla? You want to talk about fucking Gorilla? Okay, let's see what we got here. We got my Casio. Do not mock the, do not mock the Casio. You will be punished, and I'll show you why in a moment. We have... The box that is responsible for all of the problems and complications right now because it has a uh, one of those proprietary adapters because it has special uh, power concerns because it's got uh, phantom powered uh, mic preamps. Um, everything would be fine if I could find the AC adapter for this box. I have no fucking idea where the AC adapter for this is. So what we're doing because we have no choice, no option, no time, and almost no money. Like I really can't afford to go out and buy anything new uh, to make this easier. We have a MIDI Sport USB 2x2 two two, which uh, is currently uh, unhooked because I the nature of the film, which you'll see a little bit of, um, has, has determined that I need to play everything uh, in basically one take, which really sucks. Uh, we have the laptop. Now here's here's the, the thing that's probably gonna get me into trouble ultimately. We have one mono because I can't even fucking find my uh, my uh, my uh, cable adapters. We have one mono uh, uh, mini plug running from the left channel, I think it's the left channel, uh, on the on the on the deck into into the normal audio import on my fucking laptop. For those of you who don't really know a lot about sound, that uh, audio in goes right into the motherboard, which is not a quiet place, not a good place. No, no good sound ever comes through that. But we have no choice. It's do or die time. Okay, on the computer, I don't know if you can actually see the program, uh, is Audacity, which is free. Uh, other than that, essential things to scoring a film uh, for me include a place to sit, which is just my piano bench from the piano over there. Kind of see it. Um, a metronome, which is always a good thing to have. Shot glass, cigarettes, ashtray, chaser, and of course the booze. Okay, so here's the essential uh, major problem that we're facing. Uh, generally, when you're scoring a film, you work with something called the time code. Ideally, what you have is a rough cut of the film with the time code running on the bottom. But anyway, you throw the rough cut of the video into uh, an audio program, a multi-track program, and then you would sync the music that you've sequenced in your MIDI program to the uh, time code. So you, you would um, play the movie, and you, it would record the music being played on your sequencer, which you had input uh, using your synth in MIDI, uh, and then it would play the music back through the MIDI cables into your synth or your whatever patch box you have, you know, the thing that actually makes the sounds. And then from there, it would go into uh, another audio interface, like the M-Audio, which would uh, convert into uh, absolutely clear, pristine sound uh, because it would be going in through your USB, so it would be digital, digital, no... Uh, no, it prompts the analog. None of this fucking cable. We don't have any of those luxuries. What we got, apart from the booze and the cigarettes and everything, is we have 
the movie on here. And what I did, I found the uh, place in the movie where we want the music to be in, which is right here. Monkey testing. And then what we do is in here, we create a new audio track. It's recording, even as we speak. Then, before we press play there, we do this. We give us, uh, and this is, this doesn't correspond to any sort of metronomic time or anything. Mm. This is just to help me sync up. This is the crudest type of sound sync. Uh, help me sync up what I'm about to record to when I actually press play on the fucking movie. So what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, four. But I can't actually hold this and do this at the same time. So what we'll do is we go one, two, three, four, play. So, anyway, we, we would go on and on like that uh, until we, you know, got the parts that we wanted to do. The only luxury I have with this right now is uh, I can actually do multiple tracks if I need to, but I'm not going to need to because I'm going to be able to just kick it all out. So now we, we stop everything so it all goes back to the beginning. Let's take our sound thing back up here. Now we press play on the sound. This is... We're going to hear another set like that. Two, three, four, play. What are you looking for? The end of the movie to see if it's a fast zombie or a slow zombie. What difference does that make? And so there you go. You got your bargain. Uh, you got your bargain sync done right there. Fortunately, I don't have to actually sync the music to the film. But if you notice in the video, I do have time code running on the bottom. That's going to be important because the point at which this clip starts, which I edited, I, I pulled this part of the movie out from the movie. Um, I'll give them that number and tell them that that's where the they need to sync the music to. And that's cheap sound sync. And I got exactly 45 minutes to get this done now. Cheers, guys. Oh, by the way, uh, you can vote on the movie when it's done, which will be on Monday, uh, on MySpace. Uh, it's called uh, There's a Zombie at the End of This Movie. And it's very good. I'm actually very uh, glad to be a part of it.